Hi, I'm John Derry, and these are my top five Photoshop CS5 new painting features. I'm really excited about the new features in Photoshop CS5, particularly in the realm of painting. Uh, Adobe has done some really amazing things here uh, with painting uh, with natural media style brushes. And uh, I'm going to go through and show you my top five painting features. I'm going to start off with the uh, bristle tips and I'm going to open up the brush panel here to show you that there are actually a set of new tips uh, that you have access to. And let's just take a look at these. Now, what these will enable me to do beyond what you could do in the past is this tip. And let's uh, open up this little preview so you can see what's going on here. This is a really great way to get an idea of, of how the brush is responding to your arm, hand, and wrist movement. When I press down, as you can see, I can actually press against my virtual surface. And in this case, I'm actually splaying my bristles out. And so right away, we've got a dynamic tip that changes based on the way it's being uh, uh, impressed or uh, touched upon the canvas. And so this single brush all by itself has a wide range of expressive character in it. And that's something you just could not really get uh, before in the previous iteration uh, of uh, the uh, brush model uh, within Photoshop. It's still there and it's still useful, but for natural media emulation, you're going to find that the new bristle tips really offer uh, a great deal of expressibility. And that's what digital artists want. They want to be able to express themselves through the marks they make uh, on their uh, digital canvas. And this ability to be able to uh, actually go in and have such a range within an individual brush tip uh, opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. Now there's all sorts of controls that you have here as well as several different uh, types of tips and all of these together offer up a, a really wide range of potential in the kinds of marks you're going to be able to make. The second favorite I'm going to show you is the new mixer brush. And to get to that, we're going to go into the tool palette here. And I'm just going to click on the, uh, the brush tool. And that pops up our fly out. And let's go to mixer brush. And uh, now what this does is, at first glance, nothing. But if I go up and take a look at the property bar, you'll see we've got a whole new set of controls here. And the one I'm going to focus on right now is the wet brush. And you'll see what this does is it starts to let me blend and mix colors together. So that if I take a, another color here, my brush is imparting color, but it's also mixing at the same time. So I've got this ability to start to mix and blend colors in ways that I haven't been able to before. I'll turn up mix as well. And uh, let's get another color. And you'll see that now I've really got a brush where I can start to actually mix different colors together uh, in a way that just was not possible uh, in Photoshop in the past. And so to be able to start to blend and mix uh, in a style that's very reminiscent of traditional tools combined with the bristle tips starts to give us uh, a, a really uh, amazing simulation of a natural media style tools. We'll just do a little kind of quick sketching here in, in an abstract style. I don't want to try to get too fancy at this point, but you can see how this brush, you know, not only are the, the bristles uh, dynamic and changing and offering a great deal of, uh, of capability, but it's also enabling me to get a really cool range of tool uh, look that I just could not get before. So uh, the ability to take advantage of all of these various uh, types of settings uh, that are in here uh, offer up a completely new way uh, to be able to adjust your brushes and get some completely new looks uh, that you haven't been able to get before. The next feature that's one of my favorites actually isn't a new feature, but it might as well be new because in concert with both the bristle tips and the wet brush, uh, you've got a, a third uh, kind of icing on the cake here that uh, in 
proves the recipe even more. And what is that feature? Well, it's texture. If I go ahead and enable texture here and work with a, a, a couple of uh, textures that I've created, you'll see that now I've got a brush that has all of the characteristics we looked at before, but now it actually starts to be able to utilize uh, texture in a way that uh, really adds to the ability of the brush to look like natural media. Let's turn off the wetness right now and you'll see here that I get this very nice textural element going on within my strokes and that even takes this brush uh, further into a natural media realm. So not only do we have all these other characteristics going on, but now the addition of texture as a uh, characteristic even adds another uh, bit of flavoring to our natural media recipe. So texture, while not new, uh, acts in a whole new way when it's used in concert uh, with the, uh, the new features uh, in the brush engine of Photoshop. For my fourth feature, I'm going to go to yet another tool that's been in Photoshop for a while. Now, why am I going back to these old features if I want to show you new features in Photoshop? Well, just like texture, this tool takes on a whole new significance when it's combined with the new painting features within Photoshop. And that new tool is Tool Presets. You can see up here in the uh, right uh, upper portion of my screen that I've got a whole bunch of preset brushes I've created. Now there are brush presets, however brush presets don't save all of the various uh, aspects of a brush, they're just brush specific. The tool preset goes farther and actually saves additional information that you can't save in a brush preset and that's why I like it. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, close uh, my brush panel for now and what I want to do is just select a couple of these so you can see what I'm talking about. For example if I select this flat angle brush well now I've instantly got a brush where all of these settings have been made uh, available to me without having to stop and think about what bristle do I want uh, for example you know which uh, uh, particular uh, degree of wetness am I using all of these things end up being something that I can actually go in and have ready and I don't have to think in terms of brush creation and that is very important I'm going to show you my fifth fe favorite feature and that is sample all layers it's right up here in the property bar of the mixer brush now I'm going to turn that on and I'm also going to create a new layer and now by going and selecting one of my brushes that doesn't apply paint but only mixes paint that it finds underneath of it, I can go in here and I can start to mix the, the colors underneath my image. And I can switch from one brush to another here so that if I want to get, uh, oh, another favorite of mine right here is the uh, uh, fan blender. And I'm going to reduce size. And I'm using the same old uh, you know, uh, keyboard shortcut, the uh, bracket keys for that. Uh, now, I'm treating this underlying photograph as if it were wet oil paint that just happens to be configured in a photographic form. But it's exactly like taking a brush that doesn't have any paint on it and using it to move and manipulate that wet paint underneath of it. So there you have it. Photoshop CS5 is a painter's dream, and I think the world is going to be extremely excited once they get these tools into their hands. So I hope you'll be doing some really cool stuff and uh, be showing it online. Good luck.